we are present in this Eucharistic gathering, in this assembly of thanksgiving, to give praise and thanks to God for the solemn liturgical declaration of the St. Dominic Parish Church as a Basilica Minore. To the best of my knowledge, this is the first Basilica Minore in Asia under the patronage of St. Dominic and the fifth in the entire world. Thanks to the dedicated efforts of our brother, Archbishop Socrates Villegas, we have two minor basilicas in the Archdiocese of Lingay and Dagupan, the Basilica of Our Lady of Manawa and the Basilica of St. Dominic. Both were established as parishes by the Dominican missionaries in 1587. A Jesuit friend who works at their general curia in Rome asked me during the Jubilee year in 2021, what is your hope for the Dominicans today? And I said, I hope we Dominicans would do what Ignatius of Loyola did. He thought I was joking. But I pointed out to him that exactly 300 years after St. Dominic died, Ignatius of Loyola read the lives of St. Francis and St. Dominic and experienced the grace of conversion. That is my hope for all of us Dominicans to read again the life of St. Dominic and be renewed in our vocation as preachers of the gospel. I hope we will rediscover how Dominic's preaching did not only convert people to the true faith, but also how his experience of encounter and dialogue transformed him in a profound way. Dominic loved the Lord with all his heart, with his entire being, and that love prompted him to faithfully follow Christ, the preacher. What does St. Dominic have to say to us? to the church, to the world, as we confront the problems of today, the problems of indifference, clericalism, divisions, false news, hopelessness. In a time that is marked by indifference, especially towards the suffering other, Dominic preached the mercy of truth, misericordia veritatis. As one wise cooperator brother said, we are not an order of homilists. We are an order of preachers. It is said that it is difficult to find a recorded homily of Saint Dominic. His devotees are actually his living homilies. His preaching in our world today, that hunger for God's presence and his thirsting for God's word. The gift of being declared a minor basilica comes with a mission and responsibility. This declaration as a minor basilica comes in the wake of the celebration of the 500 years of Christianity in the Philippines. Our faith in Jesus came to us as a gift, but we cannot remain merely as recipients of the gift of faith. We are also called to share it, we are gifted to give. 
our celebration therefore does not only invite us to thank God for the gift of faith also we are challenged to be missionaries wherever we find ourselves in I entrust all of you to the maternal embrace of the Blessed Virgin Mary who is also our Lady of Manawag and our Lady of the Rosary. What a joy and a pleasure and a privilege it has been for me to be with you this morning here in the newly elevated Minor Basilica of St. Dominic here in San Carlos, in Pangasinan. I'm extremely grateful to Archbishop Socrates Villegas for having invited me to preside at this elevation of your parish church, now Minor Basilica. When I arrived with my assistant, Father Rick Marpa, looking out the window of the car and seeing the city direct de decorated so beautifully with yellow and white pennants all over the city. It really was such a tribute to your love for this now newly elevated minor basilica of St. Dominic. Your Excellency, our Apostolic Nuncio, thank you for bringing us the love and blessings of Pope Francis in the declaration of the Church of St. Dominic as a minor basilica. The umbrelleto of this basilica will remain half open waiting for the presence of the Holy Father. In visiting the Archdiocese of Linga and Dagupan a second time, you make the love of the Pope palpable and real. Thank you for the sacrifice of traveling from Manila to bless us. We will carry the memory of your presence in the grateful memory of our hearts. Thank you, Archbishop Nair. Your Eminence, Jose Cardinal Advincula, thank you for the sacrifice of traveling all the way to bless us and show us your fraternal communion. You are an esteemed member of the priestly fraternity of St. Dominic. We can think of no other person to bless the insignia of the Basilica but you. His clarity of heart and mind lives in you. Being the successor of Bishop Domingo de Salazar, O.P., in the Sea of Manila, you bring us a long history of Dominican missionary spirit. Thank you, Cardinal Advincula. Dear Father Gerard, Master of the Order of Preachers, thank you for the apostolic presence of the Dominican Brethren in this part of the Philippines since 1587. If Pangasinan is Catholic, it is purely by the grace of God. And that grace of Catholic faith came and stayed in Pangasinan because of your courageous and zealous conferers for the past 436 years. You, as the first Filipino master of the Order of Preachers, are a sign of the vibrant Dominican missionary presence that is now creating gentle ripples of grace all over the world. The Dominicans proclaim the faith from Hilimanawag to the rugged bamboo forests of San Carlos. They whisper the gospel, they live the gospel, they die for the gospel. What would Pangasinan be without the Dominicans who serve in Binalatongan, some of whom are now venerated as martyr saints of the church. At a time when the church, the body of Christ, was wounded by divisions and discord, Dominic envisioned a communitarian form of government that promotes inclusion and participation in discernment and decision making. The mission of the order to preach veritas is an important antidote to another pernicious pandemic. Fake news, half-truths, which are actually half-lies. In these trying times, when people seem to be lost 
in despair, St. Dominic offers us a wonderful hope. O spem miram. Our song of hope commemorates the moment more than 800 years ago when Dominic passed from this world. A time when the brothers had tears on their eyes. O spem miram quam dedisti mortis ora te flentibus. Dominic stirred hope in their hearts because he promised to continue to be helpful to the brothers and sisters. He vowed to intercede for us and therefore to abide with us by his prayers. Ultimately, hope is grounded on the certainty that God will never abandon us. Hope is the assurance that God abides in the mysteries of joy, sorrow, glory, and light of our lives. According to St. Paul, hope is Christ in us. In this Basilica of St. Dominic, may we always find that wonderful hope, Ospem Miram, proclaimed by Dominic. Christ our Lord, who nourishes us in word and sacrament. <music>